Cherry Tree by Ruskin Bond Eight years have passed since I placed my cherry seed in the grass. Must have a tree of my own, I said, and watered it once and went to bed and forgot. But cherries have a way of growing, though no one's caring very much or knowing. And suddenly that summer, near the end of May, I found a tree had come to stay. It was very small, a five months child, lost in the tall grass running wild. Goats ate the leaves, grass cutters a scythe spluttered apart, and a monsoon blight shriveled the slender stem. Even so, next spring I watched three new shoots grow. The young tree struggle upwards thrust, its arms in a fresh fire's lust, for light and air and sun. I could only wait as one who watches, wondering while time and the rain made a miracle from green growing pain. I went away next year, spent a season in Kashmir, came back thinner, rather poor, but richer by a cherry tree at my door, six feet high, my own dark cherry, and I could scarcely believe it, a berry, ribboned and jeweled in the sun, hung from a branch, just one, and next year there were blossoms, small, pink, fragile, quick to fall, at the merest breath, the sleepiest breeze. I lay on the grass at ease, looked up through leaves at the blue, blind sky, at the finches as they flew, and flitted through the dappled green, while bees in an ecstasy drank of nectar from each blossom, and the sun sank swiftly and the stars turned in the sky, and moon moths and singing crickets, and I, yes, I, praised night and stars and trees. A small, tall cherry grown by me.